it's really easy to look at the crypto markets and think to yourself, like, man, what if I just bought Bitcoin at a dollar or Ethereum at a dollar or Solana at a dollar and just held them? I'd have so much money. Trust me, I get it. And even though I've been in the crypto space for seven years and gotten in early on projects, I still wish I could have bought some of these at a dollar. And unfortunately, I can't give you a time machine to go back and do that, but I can tell you what to do instead. And no, I'm not gonna say, all right, here's the next Solana and try to predict the future of what that cryptocurrency is going to do. But instead, I'm gonna show you a strategy that's actually more likely to make you money and probably will make you more money in the long term. So what is it? Well, it's to become a blockchain developer and learn the technical skills to build blockchain applications. And before you just X out of this video and say, oh, that's too hard. You know, I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. Because the cryptocurrencies were this big aha moment for lots of people that got them involved in the blockchain space that they could become blockchain developers. I mean, that's basically my story, okay? You know, I was a professional programmer already before I got into blockchain, but I got into it like a lot of other people. I saw cryptocurrency prices going up and up and up like crazy, but I got into the technology, learned the coding skills and changed my career to this industry and never looked back. And since then, I've helped lots of people do the same. And I see this as the best way to make money in the crypto space in 2024 and beyond. And so I'm gonna back that up and tell you exactly why in this video today. And so really quickly, if you're brand new to this channel, I wanna introduce myself. So hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. And so if that's something that you're interested in, then make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything that I'm talking about in this video today, then I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so reason number one why becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to make money in the crypto space is that there's so many different ways to monetize these skills. You know, you can get a job, you can become a freelancer, but you can also do things like create your own trading bots, uh, do DeFi, flash loans, or any other type of crypto activity. Blockchain is going to give you a massive competitive edge in this space. All right. So the most common way to make money as a blockchain developer is just to get a blockchain developer job. Okay. So it's one of the highest paying fields in tech. You can see the national average salary for blockchain developers is about $150,000 per year. Now, that's for somebody with experience, but you can see that even on the lower end, people are making 100K or even close to 100K on this bottom sector here. And so let me explain why that's a better alternative than trying to make a bunch of money by investing in cryptocurrency. Well, basically, let's say you wanted to make a million dollars in cryptocurrency. Think about how much money you have to actually invest in order to do that or what types of returns you'd have to actually get in order to do that. And then ask yourself, do I actually know anybody who has cashed out and made a million dollars from cryptocurrency? Probably not. But if you became a blockchain developer and you made a healthy six-figure salary and you continued to do that year over year over year, for a decade, you could easily make a million dollars. And that would actually produce the life-changing result that most people are trying to look for inside their crypto markets. And they want to maybe try to do this by just doing it passively. But the problem is most of the times you're not actually doing this passively when you're buying cryptocurrency because you're trying to like research the next hot project or you're maybe trading around and you have a ton of downside risk where you can actually lose the money that you put in. Again, trading is a job that you can lose money at, but blockchain development is a job that you can only make money at. But now let's say that you actually do want to try to find some new cryptocurrencies before they blow up or just invest in cryptocurrency in general. Okay, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I mean, I personally do this. What I'm saying is it's not my only bet to like making it in crypto for the long term. So your blockchain developer skills are actually gonna help you get a competitive edge in this space because you can get close to the projects, you can understand what's legit, what's not legit, what's potentially a scam or what has security vulnerabilities. And you're gonna have a huge edge over normal users in this way if you become a blockchain developer. All right, and also quick pause. If you wanna become a blockchain developer, then you need to get good at JavaScript. It's the number one language for blockchain behind Solidity. It'll give you a massive edge if you're trying to land a job, create your own trading bots, whatever. And I've been quietly working behind the scenes on the ultimate JavaScript training that's gonna help you do just that. I'm gonna officially announce this on my YouTube channel in the coming weeks. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. All right, so back to the video. All right, so let's talk about some other ways to make money as a blockchain developer without getting a full-time job. So one way is to become a freelancer, okay? So this is actually really great because that means if you become a blockchain developer, you don't have to quit your job now and then you can start doing freelancing on the side to make money as a blockchain developer and add that on top of your current income. Or you can start off as a freelancer with very low stakes and then eventually transition into a full-time blockchain development job or a full-time freelancer no matter what you decide to do. And the good news is once you learn to become a blockchain developer, it's pretty easy to become a freelancer 
uh, in a short amount of time on a website like Upwork.com. All right, so now let's talk about how to make passive income as a blockchain developer. So everything that I've talked about at this point is active income where you're doing something and you're actively earning money for that. So there's several different strategies for doing this. I'm talking about the first one right now. So the first way is to create an arbitrage-based trading bot. So what is that? Well, you might hear a trading bot and think like, oh, that's not going to work because nobody can accurately predict the future about what a cryptocurrency price is going to do. Well, that's true. A lot of those bots do blow up, but an arbitrage bot works differently. It makes a profit right now based off of opportunities that exist on top of the blockchain. So basically, all an arbitrage bot does is it looks at the difference in prices on two different cryptocurrency exchanges. It buys on one exchange and sells on the other. And as a blockchain developer, all the exchanges out there are decentralized exchanges, which means that you can create smart contracts that hook into them and then watch for these prices to change because crypto is very volatile. And then you can borrow you know, money and then you can buy the cryptocurrency on one exchange and sell on another for a profit. Now, the beauty of this strategy is with blockchain, you can do this with something called a flash loan. So a flash loan is a technique where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency basically for free as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. And you can use that money for things like arbitrage trading bots and also the other strategies that I'm going to mention here in a second. So really quickly, how does that even work? Well, blockchains basically support simple transactions and complex transactions. So if I send cryptocurrency from my account to yours, that's a simple transaction with one set of instructions. But you can create complex transactions that have like multiple steps like, hey, borrow money, trade it, pay it back. And you do that as a blockchain developer, like normal users can't do this, blockchain developers can because they can create smart contracts that code out these custom steps and then use flash loans to pull this type of thing off. And the nice thing about flash loans, in addition to not having to hold the cryptocurrency, is that there's no risk that you can lose this money. You can't like borrow a million dollars and accidentally fumble it on the chain. The blockchain will not let you do that. And so flash loans are an ultimate superpower for blockchain developers that basically nobody else can use. And that opportunity doesn't exist in any other financial market. So what else can you do with it besides just create arbitrage-based trading bots? Well, you can do things like yield farming with leverage inside of DeFi. Now, this is a little bit riskier, but it's a truly passive income strategy, okay? So basically, you see uh, these savings and lendings markets on top of the blockchain where people can you know, deposit cryptocurrency on one side and borrow money on the other, and they get paid out some type of interest for doing this, okay? And a lot of times, they'll do yield farming where those protocols will issue a brand new token. And normal users, of course, can connect their wallet with MetaMask and earn that yield, but you can actually maximize your yield as a blockchain developer by taking out a flash loan and increasing the amount of cryptocurrency you're depositing into the protocol and then paying it back in the same transaction to earn bonus yield. And sometimes you can, you know, two, three, four, five, ten 10x the amount of yield you're getting in a protocol this way that normal users just can't, all because you can create smart contracts with these flash loans. And another popular strategy for making passive income as a blockchain developer with flash loans is with DeFi liquidations. So what does that mean? Well, basically, you know, you have all these DeFi applications out there where people are either borrowing money, okay, and moving it to their wallet, or they're using like leverage and trading, okay, and they have to post assets as collateral whenever they're doing this, okay. Now, a lot of these traders are engaging in risky behavior, and sometimes when the cryptocurrency price falls enough, then the amount of collateral that they have in the application uh, is now delinquent, okay, their loan is delinquent, and basically the protocol, the code says that, hey, you know, you, you can be liquidated now and anybody can process that liquidation, not just us, because it's powered by smart contracts. It's completely open out there on the blockchain in a decentralized way. So you as a developer can watch for these opportunities to help repay back that loan and get the fee from the protocol. And you don't have to post any of your own cryptocurrency to do this. You can basically create a searcher bot that takes out a flash loan that processes the liquidation and then pays that flash loan back instantly. And then you can get the reward for doing this and that can make you passive income as well. All right, so that's an overview of some of the top ways to make money as a blockchain developer in 2024 and beyond, and also why this is the best way to make money in crypto. Because again, at the end of the day, the best way to make money in crypto is not to like try to find some cryptocurrency and invest your money into it, and then hope that that takes off to get the type of life-changing result that you want to. Instead, what you wanna do is earn a high income skill like blockchain so that you can solve your cash flow problem by getting a job, becoming a freelancer, or by creating some other project on the side that can make you passive income while you sleep. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to take action on everything I'm talking about in this video today, then I can definitely show you how to become a blockchain master step by step. You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, 
I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.